yesterday i studied philippians 4 which is about god's provision and of course you know the famous verse that we usually read and we misquote it today i am here to give you a new conviction listen <laughs> you see the verse that says that god will supply all my needs in excess and in abundance abundantly above all that i can ask for philippians 4 19 that verse is misquoted you know why because when you read that whole chapter which i read yesterday and the previous verses to before paul says that god shall supply your needs abundantly exceedingly it was because the philippians had given him gifts wherever he was in those places he had, they had sent him gifts they had helped him through his hard times and so he, and then the previous verse says um I'm about to blow your mind. Philippians 4.17, it says, Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit which increases your credit. So he appreciates the Philippians for sending him gifts and helping him through his tough times. And then he says, he does not seek the gift. He seeks the fruit that increases your credit. Do you know what fruit that is? Giving. Giving is a fruit. So when you quote that word that says, My God shall supply all my needs exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask for you to know that in the first... Woo! Holy Spirit, you need to know that what you're supposed to do is to give. Giving, you receive. Giving produces this God providing a silly and abundantly. You cannot be stingy and expect God to give you above all that you ask for, baby. It's not going to work like that. It doesn't work like that. So when I read that, I was like, aha. Uh -huh. So all of us have just been here misquoting this verse, you know, like God will supply all my needs. Like, according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus, you need to give first. You have to have a giving heart. That's why you usually hear people, they say they receive their miracles or their promises just after a big giving. Maybe they give in tithes or they give uh, who God sends them to give. You need to give first for you to receive. So if you're trusting God for a bigger thing, this is also a challenge to me because sometimes you're like, God, all I got in my account is like a thousand shillings. So what am I going to give? You know, like sometimes you just ask yourself, God, even me need that, you know. <laughs> anyway, that is just an example. You need to give something. It's an act of like provoking God. Like faith helps you provoke God to provide that which you're trusting him to do. Now you need to give by faith. Like you're giving it so that by faith you're believing that God, I'm giving this so that you can give me. Yeah, wherever I need. That's why people pay tithes. It's the only way you're testing God. So I'm going to challenge you if you're trusting God for a miracle. Even me, I'm challenging myself. Because right now, even me, when I'm saying this, I'm just like, God, what am I going to give? God, what am I going to give? But me, I already know what God has been putting in my heart to give. It's just that I'm like contemplating you know and delayed obedience is disobedience either way so you need to do what god is telling you to do i'm gonna challenge us to give something go and give something in faith i know we are all you know we are testing god for a bigger thing i know i know we don't have the money i know but just give the little love give it to someone like give it to someone like yeah you can take it to church and say i'm giving this to you god or you can choose to to help a relative like buy them something give them money the, whatever the spirit leads you to do you're activating your faith when you're giving you're activating your faith and giving is a kingdom principle and I forgot to say this and i just have to say it right now right now so when i said that uh in Philippians 4.17 when Paul said, not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit which increases your credit. I didn't explain what your credit means. Your credit is in God. Your credit is in heaven. Which brings us back to Matthew chapter 6 verses 19 where Jesus said, do not lay up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break and steal, but lay up your Yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth and rust consumes and where thieves do not break and steal. For where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. So when you're giving, you are adding your credit in heaven. I know people in uh, abroad understand this because they get credits. The more you get money from the bank, the more you store money in the bank, the more your credit increases, right? The more you transact money from the bank, the more your credit increases. So the more you give, your credit is increasing in heaven. The more you give is the more you're going to receive. 
you know I, I i hate to mention that because i'm like your credit is in heaven you're storing your treasures in heaven your storehouse is in heaven so when your storehouse in heaven is full even here physically if someone steals nobody's gonna steal from your storehouse in heaven you're just gonna go back to the storehouse and be like god i need this and he's gonna give it to you why because your storehouse is in full so i want you to look at giving like this like you're storing something like the more you give the more una store your credit in heaven is increasing so when you're going to god you are asking him to credit you something how can you ask god to give you something and yet your credit is zero that's why people when they're trying to find apartments i've been watching a lot of videos about people moving um miraculously supernaturally in abroad and they they always say they had no credit they had no money because the, the whoo jesus the people who are the landlords let's say the agents estate agents they look at your credit and see that you are suitable to be in this house then they give you the apartment right now if your credit in heaven is not suitable for god to give you that apartment you want where are you gonna get it bro you need to give okay do you hear me you need to give that's a challenge for me too because i'm like oh jesus i need your help i need your help <laughs> yeah, and i'm gonna see you on my next video follow me on my instagram because this beautiful girl hmm. I can't wait for the goodness of God, the goodness of God, the goodness of God, hmm. endless.